स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सॉल्व दिस इरोडोव प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1.62 अ स्मॉल बॉडी वाज लॉन्च्ड अप एन इनक्लाइंड प्लेन सेट एंड सेट एट एन एंगल अल्फा 15 डिग्री अगेंस्ट द हॉरिजॉन्टल व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन देयर इज अ इनक्लाइंड प्लेन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ इनक्लिनेशन अल्फा अ स्मॉल बॉडी वाज लॉन्च्ड अप एन इनक्लाइंड प्लेन a small body is thrown up the plane find the coefficient of friction if the time of the ascent of the body is nita times less than the time of its descent what is the question when we throw this particle this particle go up the plane stop at a moment and then come back the surface of this plane have friction so there is a coefficient of friction let me call it mu so when the particle go up the plane the time of ascent and when the particle comes down the plane the part the time of descent are different in the question it is given that time of ascent is nita times less than the time of descent so we have to calculate the value of mu okay so let me call that this is the initial situation a when particle reaches the highest point at this point its velocity is zero now for up the plane motion i call the time as uh, t1 for down the motion i call the time as t2 so the relation given in the question is t1 equal to t2 by nita and i have to calculate the value of coefficient of friction mu okay what is the situation when the particle go up the plane and comes down the plane the distance traveled by the particle in going up the plane and going down the plane are equal this distance and this distance are equal so let me call this distance as l so this distance is also have length l same number so this distance is also l now first i draw the free body diagram when the particle going up the plane so when particle go up the plane in this direction so the friction force will act down the plane so the friction force will act down the plane what is the friction force mu into n 1 normal reaction now there is a mg and there is a normal so the component of mg along the inclined plane is mg sin alpha and component of mg perpendicular to the inclined plane is mg cos alpha and the normal should act in this direction having value n1 now this is the total force acting down the plane so the acceleration of particle a1 should be first it is negative i assume that the up direction is positive so acceleration is negative because this total force is acting down the plane what is the total force total force is mg sin alpha plus mu into n1 mu into n1 what is n1 n1 must be equal to mg cos alpha divided by mass so this m <coughs> and this m should be cancel out so a1 should be equal to minus g sin alpha plus mu g cos alpha this okay now let me draw the free body diagram of particle 
when particle slides down the plane so when particle slides down the plane the friction force will act up the plane so this force is mu into n1 the component <coughs> of mg down the plane is mg sin alpha and component of mg perpendicular to the plane is mg cos alpha normal reaction is perpendicular to the plane so normal is n1 now <coughs> the acceleration down the plane should be this minus this divided by mass so the acceleration in this case is a2 equal to minus i assume that mg sin alpha is greater than mu n1 and this must be happen because particle have to go down for that acceleration must be down the plane because initial speed is zero so a2 equal to minus mg sin alpha minus mu n1 what is n1 n1 again equal to mg cos uh, not theta it is alpha okay mg cos alpha and total divided by mass so acceleration down the plane should be equal to minus g sin alpha minus mu g cos alpha now i know the value of acceleration both in going up the plane and both when particle go down so i write it as here a1 should be equal to minus g into sin alpha plus mu cos alpha and a2 should be equal to minus g into sin alpha minus mu cos alpha so these are the two acceleration now for distance and time i have to use kinematic equation the both acceleration a1 and a2 are constant so the equation of constant acceleration can be applied so i divide the whole situation into two parts one going up and other going down so what are the quantities given when particle go up this is the initial velocity is the initial velocity given so initial velocity is not given so i don't know but i know the final velocity so final velocity i know it is zero now when particle go up so this is the direction of displacement so displacement is positive so displacement is plus l time is t1 and acceleration is a1 equal to minus g into sin alpha plus mu cos alpha okay so these are the things i know when particle go up the plane and time is t1 okay what are the things i know when particle go down when particle go down this is the initial state and this is the final state so i know the initial velocity so initial velocity in this case is zero but i don't know the final velocity so i don't know the value of final velocity i know the displacement s must be equal to particle go in this direction so it must be negative so the displacement is minus l what is the acceleration acceleration a2 should be equal to minus g into sin alpha minus g minus mu minus mu cos alpha and the time 
time is t2 now i can write t2 as neta t1 so instead of t2 i write it as neta t1 is the total time okay now i can apply the constant acceleration kinematics equation so for this equation if i apply the formula s equal to ut plus half a t square this formula does not help helps us because i don't know the initial velocity but there is also a formula of s which is equal to vt minus half a t square okay so in this case s is l so l equal to v is 0 so this part is 0 or acceleration is minus this minus and this minus will become plus so 1 by 2 g sin alpha plus mu cos alpha into t1 square okay now in this case I can apply the formula s equal to ut plus half a t square and I know the value of initial velocity it is 0. So displacement s is minus l to so minus l equal to and this is minus 1 by 2 value of a2 is g into sin alpha minus mu cos alpha into t square this is the time so this must be equal to neta square into t1 square okay now i have got the two equations in both the equations this minus should be cancelled with this minus and l should be equal to g by 2 into sin alpha minus mu cos alpha into neta square into t1 square okay now in both equation left hand sides are equal so right hand sides must be equal so right hand side must be equal means 1 by 2 is here so 1 by 2 is here g should be here so g should be here so this part must be equal to this part and t1 is here so t1 square is here so only this part must be equal to this part so from this equation i can write sin alpha minus mu cos alpha should be equal to sin alpha minus mu cos alpha into neta square now this is a very simple equation from this equation i can calculate the value of neta when this minus comes here it should become plus so 1 plus neta square into mu into cos alpha should be equal to when this number go here it should be equal to neta square minus 1 into sin alpha so mu should be equal to this cos alpha sin alpha by cos alpha it should be tan alpha it should be equal to neta square plus neta square minus 1 divided by neta square plus 1 into tan alpha so this is my answer so the coefficient of friction mu must be equal to neta square minus 1 divided by neta square plus 1 into tan alpha for alpha equal to 15 degree you have to first calculate the value of tan 15 degree then put the number you will get the answer of mu in number